I'm gonna need you to raise your glass. I don't care what you put in it. Here's the nights that you can't take back. We live hard, but we love to laugh. And we all thought that we'd get rich fast. Hop the plane out for greener grass. Found out the green is cash. Don't compare to the friends at last. See, we won't forget where we came from. The city won't change us. We beat to the same drum. No, we won't forget where we came from. The city can't change us. We beat to the same drum. The same drum. Just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've done for the Pascac Pioneers over the years. In addition to the kids currently on the team, there have been 114 alumni that have graduated from the program, and you have changed every one of their lives, including my own. It's definitely going to be weird to go on Chief Delphi and see a different team's logo next to your recent name. Thank you for everything, have a great time in Georgia, and there were a few other people who wanted to thank you as well. When I heard that Don was moving to Atlanta with Mercedes-Benz, I was shocked. I had no idea that he had a full-time job besides robotics. Don has been with the team for 11 years. I remember our first regional, the New Jersey Regional, in 2005. We arrived on the scene as the new kids in town. We were angling to win Rookie All-Star and all around make a good showing at the event. This includes shaking the right hands, talking to the right people, making sure our pit was showing off all the things that we had, the team had done that year, and making sure our robot was the best that it could be. I remember we had our coats in our stands, but that year we were never in the stands. Some of us we were just always constantly running around. Now one of the teams, I'm pretty sure they were from Staten Island, had a totally non-functioning robot. I don't know if it ever functioned, but it was hopeless for them. Now, without anybody asking him to do anything, Don led the charge to help them rebuild that robot. He took with it some of the members of the mechanical team, uh, Don Ruggieri, Russell Biteman, but Don really inspired them, he led them. Now, a couple of things. There were plenty of things that Don could have been doing at that point. Our robot was far from a contender that year, and not one to get picked. Our sponsors were getting antsy, and we knew that if we didn't make a good showing that year, the second year was in question. But they rebuilt that robot, and that's what I think FIRST is all about. It's, help, it's about helping complete strangers, expecting nothing in return. Staying humble the entire time, inspiring others, teaching a man to fish. Kind of like what he's done for generations of pioneers. Now I feel greedy having hogged it down for all these 11 years. Thanks, Don. We'll take it from here.
Hey Don, greetings from Maryland, halfway between where you're coming from and where you're going. I want to thank you for your 11 years of mentorship to the Pacific Pioneers. I'm sure it's been said over and over again at this point that you came to the team when Mercedes-Benz sponsored the founding of the team and that you continued to mentor even after Mercedes-Benz withdrew their sponsorship. But I wanted to let you know that your impact goes far beyond the time that you dedicated to a bunch of high school students building robots. For me personally, you were a pretty inspirational leader without whom I never would have believed I could pursue engineering. You were giving of not only time, but of energy and knowledge, patient and willing to teach myself or any other team member a skill, a tool, or a concept that we wanted to know. I dreamed, but I never really thought that going from spirit to mechanical was gonna happen. Never thought I was gonna work on the robot on the team. But with your help, your mentorship, your teaching, I have extensive knowledge of the inner workings, and particularly the manipulator of Johnny Five. Definitely wasn't our best robot in team history, but I learned so much from the experience. You were there, I mean, you were there to empower myself, other students, that we could do whatever we wanted to. And as a result, I knew I could and eventually did achieve a degree in engineering from the University of Maryland and worked in the field for a couple of years. So now, admittedly, I'm switching from engineering to education. But your impact is by no means gone because I've switched, fields, switched careers. If anything, it's stronger because I hope to be half the teacher and mentor to my future students as you were to me and other members of Team 1676. So, thank you. Thank you for always making me believe that things were possible and that I could achieve things, even if I felt like they were out of reach. And admittedly, I still have the PowerPoint that you showed us before PyTech or before the season where you laid out the design process of an engineer and I use that in my everyday planning of life. New Jersey's loss is Georgia's gain. I wish you all the best and good luck in Atlanta. Thank you again. And once a pioneer, always a pioneer. Hey Don, greetings from California. Thank you for your years of dedication and service to the PASCAC pioneers and for helping me develop the confidence that I needed to get through Valley, MIT, and to pursue my doctorate of veterinary medicine at UC Davis. Don, you are an irreplaceable part of the PASCAC Pioneers. Your countless hours of dedication to the team will not be forgotten, especially by us members that you spent the most time trying to train. Back seven or eight years ago, when the entire electrical subteam of the Pioneers graduated, leaving behind no legacy, I remember you taking it upon yourself to train up a whole handful of us to take our, their places. You not only taught us the fundamentals of electrical engineering and the practical approaches, but you also drilled into our heads not to let the magic smoke out, otherwise the electronics wouldn't work anymore. Don, you are an amazing role model. I still remember during competitions, you would not only help the pioneers, but any other team who would happen to venture into our pit asking for help. Your gracious professionalism is an example to us all. So thank you for all of your dedication and all of the knowledge you've imparted on us. Thank you for making my time on the Pioneers unforgettable, and I'm sure you've done the same for many other Pioneers. Good luck with your job in Georgia, and I'm sure that if you stick with FIRST, the Pioneers will be envious of whatever team has the good fortune to have you as a mentor. Don, you've done so much for Team 1676, and you've had a profound impact on my life. You've made me question things, look at things differently, comprehend them with the new eyes that no one else can give. Thank you for everything. Hi Don, you're really going to be missed. Not only have you been a great mentor, but you're an amazing person. You not only inspired me and other pioneers, but other members of the FIRST community. I'm sad to see you leave for now, but I'm even happier that I've had the opportunity to be impacted by you. I want to wish you the best of luck in Atlanta, and I can't wait to see you soon. Hey guys, Don, it's sad to see you leave. I remember when I first got it started volunteering for FRC, you've always been a beacon of knowledge and humor. When you won the Woody Flowers finalist, like everyone else, I'm surprised you haven't already won it. Anyway, best of luck to you, and we're going to really miss you. There's a lot of things I could say about Don. And one of the major things is 
he taught me most of what I know in terms of like working on robots and technology and shop stuff and all that and I really have a lot of fond memories with him and really looked up to him as I know a lot of people did. One of my favorite memories is him like show me the, some of the basic stuff when I first got to the team because I was not really sure about how to do this. Like I was good, was good with my hands, but I wasn't really sure how to apply them. I'm still trying to kind of find my place on the team. And Don saw this and he came over and started showing me how to do things like soldering and stuff like that. And it just felt good that someone was willing to teach me that. And he was just so helpful in every way. And another one of my favorite memories, I remember when he won the Woody of Flowers Award. And hearing his name being called, I just, I was so happy because I knew he deserved it so much because he did the same with me as he did for so many kids on the team. And I know for a paper once in school, we had the right to someone that we looked up to and write a thank you letter to them as part of an English project. And I remember writing to Don about I mean, I couldn't thank him enough for all he had taught me, all the laughs, because we all know Don's hysterical. Um, but there's not much, it's hard to, for me personally, to explain in words what Don did for me, but I can say it was a lot. He was a true mentor to me, and I also saw him as a really good, as a good friend. And I know that the team will definitely miss him. When he goes on the Georgia, I certainly will. We will all wish you the best, Don. And we just can't thank you enough. And I can't thank you enough for all you've done for me. Don, we're going to miss you. We're really, really going to miss you. Me especially. Forget the team. Me especially. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, really, we're really going to miss you. You were a very integral part of the team. And there's no one that can really replace you. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am now. May not even be an engineer. Maybe I wouldn't have been an engineer. I would have been like a, I don't know, a foot doctor. That's lame. Well, you just have like this amazing, amazing ability to just problem solve and be able to just see a problem and say, oh, I can fix that with duct tape and screws. But forget the drill or a screwdriver. No, you don't need that. Just duct tape and screw. That's it. It's just that's something we don't have anymore. But we're going to miss you, Don. We hope that uh, you have a good time down with Mercedes down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Don't worry. I know it's not over in Asia. There's a di that's a different Georgia. But I hope it's a good time. We're, try not to miss us too much. Hopefully you'll come back and visit at some point again. But, uh, yeah. We're going to miss you, Don. Bye-bye. I'd like to thank Don for the years of work he put in with the team and congratulate him again on his Woody Flowers Award. He was always the guy that you could go to for or with a, an idea, no matter how crazy. Uh, good luck, Don. Thank you, Don, for all that you've done. Without you, I don't think the team would be nearly as successful as it is today, nor would I have learned as much with my time spent as a student as part of the team. Don, it's been a true honor getting to work with you. You've always inspired the team to be more innovative and competitive. The work that's being done with the CNC mill in our shop will be a true testament to your legacy. I look forward to getting to work with you again in the future. Thank you. Hi, Don. Over the past 11 years, you've been such an amazing influence on our team and our team culture, and I really appreciate everything that you've done. So my favorite memory of Don was probably the time that he showed me the proper use for the lathe, as opposed to how I was using it, which turned out to be extremely inefficient. But once I knew how to use it, it was basically a key part in building the block position device for the 2014 season, so for Nightwing. But besides that key part of uh, my learning on the team, Don has done little things, not only for me, of teaching me how to disassemble motors and fix them, but different things of just helping the entire team. And to me, there wouldn't be a 1676 without Don, so Don, thank you so much. Don, thank you for sharing your wisdom and guidance, not only with the students, but also with new mentors. Hey Don, congratulations on your new and exciting adventure. Some team in Atlanta is going to benefit from your wisdom and experience, but 
But remember, 1676 will always be your home. We expect you to check in from time to time. Thank you for being not only my friend, but my teacher and mentor as well. Good luck in Atlanta. Trying to describe what Don has meant to the team is so hard because it's been so immense. He's been there since the beginning. He, uh, he's synonymous with Team 1676 to a lot of the first community, and that's a good thing. You know, our reputation is built up because of Don's reputation. So uh, I'll personalize this a little bit. I've learned a ton of engineering from Don, and I've had a, a lot of engineering education, and I still see as Don as one of my best teachers in, engi in engineering. I learned almost as much from him as I learned from Woody Flowers himself, so it's completely appropriate that Don has won the Woody Flowers Award. Um, expert in just so many things. I think the thing the team is going to miss the most about Don is the feeling in the room, in the workshop when Don walks in. There's always some uncertainty, there's always some stress, people wondering if what the part they're working on is going to work, what am I going to do, how am I going to make this, and there's always questions and we brainstorm about what's going to go on, and some of us are pretty good experts, but there's something about as soon as Don Rotolo walks in the room, there's a feeling of calm, a feeling of excitement, a feeling of energy that everyone's like, oh, I'm going to get some good advice, I'm going to hear some great things. Things are going to be okay. Don's going to give us some great advice on how to make things work. And I think that's the part that we're going to miss the most. I think not having those visits coming in where we feel so great about Don being there is what we're really going to miss. So, but I'm confident that other teams somewhere in Georgia are going to benefit from the same idea. So, uh, Don, uh, an immense part of being a pioneer is you are a pioneer through and through, always will be. And uh, we're going to miss you a lot, and best of luck in Georgia. Take care. Yeah, we always find a way back home.